asked me, you know, all, a lot, why did a feminist writer like you write about a fraudster? My name is Susan Swan, and I'm the author of my new novel, The Dead Celebrities Club. To answer that question, I'd have to take you back to my youth in the 60s. I'm a boomer. When I was starting out, I, you know, I was part of protests asking, demanding that women be given the right to choose. Um, I was at university when Mario Salvio at the University of Berkeley told all of us to put our bodies on the gears of the machine. And I thought we were building a better world. I thought we were bringing progressive change to North America and something happened along the way. This is the age of fraud and I don't know how we went from the age of protest to the age of swindlers. And I wanted to find out, you know, who are these fraudsters that are dominating our culture and why are they so powerful? What are they like up close? So I wrote about a man who exploits others for his own personal gain and yet feels like the victim. I started to think about this book when I heard about the story of Conrad Black being sent to jail for fraud. He went to a U.S. jail, low security, and that fascinated me. What was a person like Conrad, who has a background somewhat like mine, high wasp, um, well-to-do, going to um, survive in that kind of environment? Would he change for the better? And I, I began to research other fraudsters, basically, who had been sent to jail for mostly white-collar crimes. The book starts when Dale Paul, um, a player in the financial markets, is sent to prison for fraud in Upper State New York. And his family is horrified. His son, Davey, um, is really his world is shattered. They're calling him Fraudster Spawn at university. He doesn't want to have anything to do with his father. And Dale Paul is the, um, I guess the classic prisoner who thinks he's innocent, totally innocent. So he's a bit bewildered by these reactions. He doesn't really think he's done anything wrong. After all, fraud is something that is an you know, it depends in part on an interpretation because you, you don't really, somebody doesn't get murdered and somebody doesn't get, you know, directly robbed of money. So Dale Paul goes to prison thinking he's innocent. His family is upset. They are starting to um, resent him, uh, withdraw from him. And in the prison, he decides that in order to win his son back, he has to make money again, and he comes up with a very interesting and novel way of doing that, which is to run a dead pool in the prison where the inmates bet on which aging or frail celebrities will be the next to die. A gangster helps him with this plan, and the gangster um, is used to playing the numbers, so he has a different perspective than Dale Paul, and Dale Paul gets out of his depth and goes through a harrowing ordeal and comes out the other side. Well, I'll let the reader find out. My name is Susan Swan, and I'm the author of my new novel, The Dead Celebrities Club, published by Cormorant Books. This is my eighth book of fiction.